My name is Alistair Lee. In this video, I'm going to walk through the process of configuring Adobe Sign as a cloud service in Adobe Experience Manager. Before we get started, there's two things that you're going to need. And the first is an Adobe Sign developer account. You can get one of those if you navigate to Adobe I.O. and then click on APIs. Scroll down to the Adobe Document Cloud section and click on Adobe Sign. Here you'll find some instructions on getting your own Adobe Sign developer account. The second prerequisite is having SSL enabled on your Adobe Experience Manager server. So we want to be able to log in with HTTPS rather than a insecure connection. Once you've logged in with a secure connection, you can set up the cloud service by clicking on Tools, navigating to Deployment, and then selecting Cloud Services. Here we can see all of the different cloud services available. And if we scroll down about halfway, we can see Adobe Document Cloud section. Here I'll take a look at the existing configurations. We've already got one set up, but let's go through the process of setting up a second. I'm going to do that by clicking on the plus button, giving this a title like sign config, and clicking create. Here we need two pieces of information, a client ID and a client secret. So I'm going to go to my developer account where I've logged in and then select API. I'll select API applications and this will bring up any existing applications that you've set up with your Adobe Sign account already. We're going to create a new one and it's a best practice. I'm going to name it with the same name that we're using in AEM. I'll click save. And you can see my new API application has been created. If I view this, you can see I've already got my application ID and my client secret, but there's a few things that we're going to want to do before using this. So rather than clicking edit here, I'm going to configure this for OAuth. Part of configuring OAuth requires us to change the scope. I'm going to want to use this Adobe Sign account with AEM forms. For that, I'm going to need to turn on agreement read, write, and send widget read and write, as well as workflow read. Once that's done, I'll take my client ID and client secret and copy those over to my sign config in AEM. I'm also going to enable Adobe Sign for attachments. And then before clicking OK, I'm going to copy the URL of my configuration inside of AEM and use that as my redirect URI for my Adobe Sign OAuth setup. With that pasted, I'm now going to click on Save, go back to AEM, and click Connect to Adobe Sign. This is going to ask me to leave this particular page to allow the OAuth setup to continue. So I'm going to hit leave page and then allow access. And I can see Adobe Sign is successfully configured. We should now be able to use it inside of Adobe Experience Manager, including AEM forms. If I'd like to test that out, I can navigate to one of the existing forms that I've got and make sure it's available for me. So I'm going to do that by navigating to AEM, selecting Forms, Forms and Documents, and then just selecting a form that I've already been working on. I'll click to edit that form. With the form container selected, I'm going to choose to configure it. And I've got an electronic signature section here that I can use. I can use this to make sure that this new sign config cloud service that we set up is available, and it's right here. So that's how you can set up Adobe Sign as a cloud service inside of Adobe Experience Manager. Thanks for your time. 